Hello everyone, Dara and Kira here from Cavan Institute's Sound and Music Production course. You are very welcome to this video podcast today. And if you're watching this, you're interested in studying sound and music production here with us at Cavan Institute. So we're joined by two past pupils, Jake Hines and Laura Fitzpatrick, and two present students, Vinicius Tellis and Dylan Hickey. And we're going to ask them a series of questions that will give you an idea of the sound and music production course here at Cavan Institute and where it can lead you professionally. So we're going to start with our past pupils and Kira has the first question. Okay, so Jake, we're going to have a chat with you first, if that's okay. So yeah. first of all, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since you left us in Cavan Institute? Okay, so since I left Cavan Institute, I went straight to Scotland. I studied for a year in the University of the West of Scotland in music technology. So that was a continuation of the programme. I did one year there. I successfully completed my level seven in UWS. I then moved back to Ireland and completed my level eight in music production in Dundalk Institute of Technology. Um, after I completed that course, I then moved to Canada for a year and I worked in the live sound in industry. So I was a live sound engineer for a venue in Toronto. Um, I, I lived there for six to eight months and I moved back to Ireland then. And then since then, which was 2018 when I come back, I've been focusing on producing and being an artist myself and releasing music since then. I've also signed an artist that I produce with quite regularly in the last 12 months and we're releasing music together. So pretty much I'm producing for her at the moment. And uh, then, yeah, and then just working from home at the minute because of the pandemic and stuff. So basically a lot of freelance, freelance work, uh, focusing on artistry then in the last 12 months. So. OK, brilliant. So how did Cavan Institute prepare you for working then in the industry? So Cavan Institute was um, probably the best help for me because I had no background in music. So I never studied music in school. I, I had absolutely no idea, didn't didn't even know what a beat was, to be honest. I might have messed around with some of my uncle's DJ decks, but I had no background knowledge. And what Cavan Institute did for me was kind of built it from the ground up. So day one, when you go in, they say to you, like I can remember you guys saying to me, don't worry about what level you're at. We're going to start from the ground up and we're going to train you and take baby steps as, as such almost. So it's that everybody starts at the same level. And it's progression rather than, you know, jumping, jumping too much ahead, which I, I found was brilliant for me. And only for that, I, I probably wouldn't be working in music at the moment. Um, so that, that was probably the best help. And then the way the modules laid out. So I don't think there's one module I did in Cabin that I don't kind of use today um, in what I do. And especially even getting the different aspects of different universities and colleges, we've used um, we've used bits out of every module that you know um, that we were taught taught to use. Like, um, sorry, I can't get the words out properly. <laughs> um, so when, like, for example, we went to UWS and what we did an EP each semester, and that was our final project in Cavan. And I know it was separated in different modules. We had the recording aspect, we had the events aspect, we had the business aspect, which I think really helped, really helped me personally, because when we went to UWS, it was all one module. And the fact that it was split up in cabin, we had so much different insight into, you know, how to carry that out successfully, how to carry that out, that project out successfully. And even leading that into Dundalk, we had one big EP for a final project. And by that stage, I was well, well, it was well drilled into me. I was well rehearsed on how to carry it out successfully. Brilliant. OK. And looking back then on your time in Cavan Institute, how did you find it? It was brilliant. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, meeting everybody. We had, uh, we had a good class group as well. And, 
you know, because it was smaller class, we got to know everybody a little bit more. Um, we got to spend so much time in the studio with Dara it's that you don't actually appreciate until you leave. <laughs> the, <laughs> um, and uh, it's just, I, I think it's the one-on-one. I think it's it's what all you guys do, even outside of class, even the one-on-one, even the little chats, you know, it's that little information that you don't realise until you, you leave that, you know, you wish you appreciated it a wee bit more and you wish you, you maybe would have asked maybe different questions to get more information out of you at times. But, um, yeah, so I, I think it's, it's just that one-on-one and feeling, you know, it, it gives you confidence where maybe you don't have in, we'll say, a big IT or a big university that's filled with 100 different people or maybe a lot of people. I think that that was one of the main things that gave me confidence to know that, you know, I could be successful at it and keep going and be an overall pass and, you know, keep going on the journey pretty much. Brilliant. Okay, and last question then for you is any words of wisdom for anyone who is thinking about applying for music and sound production in Cabin Institute? Yeah, just um, apply yourself, you know, just um, ask the right questions, enjoy your time and enjoy every moment and apply yourself as much as possible, ask the right questions. Um, Definitely pick up on all the information you guys have to offer and just enjoy it because it is it, it, it is genuinely one of the best experiences you'll have with the, with the tutors, with all your classmates. And because Everton, you know, you have smaller class and stuff, just enjoy your time, apply yourself and um, use the facilities wisely. Get yourself into the studio after, after hours and <laughs> start tweaking, t- fiddling with things and messing about and just enjoy it. Okay, so brilliant. Thanks, Jake. It was really nice to hear what you've been up to and really what you thought of Cabin Institute. So really, thank you so much for that. Um, Derek, I'm going to hand it over to you now. You have a couple of questions for Laura. Yeah, absolutely. So Jake, that was great. It's good to see you um, actively pursuing a career in, in the industry. It's great to yeah. see. Um, thank so, you. Uh, so Laura, like I know where you've gone, right? But <laughs> you've gone a different route than, than, uh, than Jake. So go on, tell us, where have you ended up? Right. So, uh, since I left Cavan Institute, I went straight into first year of uh, the BA in production of music and audio in Dundalk Institute of Technology. So I successfully cl- completed my degree there and I went straight into doing a master's um, of uh, music technology in Dundalk as well. Um, but, you know, while I was on, uh, on that journey, I realised that I'd love to teach and, you know, it was where I decided to go. And when I was just finishing off my master's, um, a position came up in Cavan Institute for me to actually start teaching. So that's where I'm at now. I had my beginning in Cavan Institute and, and now I'm back there teaching on the same course, which is great. Good stuff. So you were a, you were a student and now you're a colleague, isn't that yeah. it? Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. It's a, it's an it's a it's a route that people don't always think about, but it's also a route that can be that you can go on. So, uh, yeah. it's absolutely great. So tell us this: um, wh- how did Cavan Institute prepare you for your journey? Well, same as Jake, I I came into Cavan Institute. I hadn't a clue. I I hadn't studied music in school, and I thought that you know, music wasn't really an option for me. And I actually had started another course in DIT studying journalism and I absolutely hated it. So I just thought, look, this isn't for me. I I said, I really want to follow my passion. I always had a passion for music. So I saw the course in Cavan Institute and I joined a month late, but it wasn't an issue because uh, all of you caught me up and everyone was really helpful, which was brilliant. And it just, it showed me what I wanted to do. And it, it was great to take those two years to actually figure out what my career plan was because you know coming straight out of leaving cert it's such a big decision to make at that age you're not really sure so it was great to take those two years where I was safe at home I could you know figure out what I wanted to do in a, in a safe space and um, it prepared me for college you know on a on a nice level where it wasn't overwhelming I could I knew how to write assignments that you know I got practical time in the studio and it just sparked my love of audio production and and music technology which was great and I feel without it I wouldn't have been able to jump into a, a you know a level eight degree course in, in DQIT by the time I got there it, it was you know second nature to me writing assignments and being in the studio which which was brilliant you know 
Very good. So it kind of progressed naturally from Cavan to DKIT. And did you did you feel uh, you had an advantage over the students there, or were you on par with them? Or absolutely, yeah, because I had you know knowledge of studio equipment, audio software. I knew all the industry st standard software. I was used to writing assignments, used to doing presentations. So I had that level of confidence and maturity that. I, I saw students there in first year with me as well coming straight from leaving cert that they didn't have and you know I did feel like I had an advantage there where I was aware of how to use the audio equipment and all the recording gear even though it was you know different makes and models all that sort of stuff the principles were still the same and you know I, I really did feel a level of confidence that I wouldn't have had if I went straight into DKIT from, from leaving cert. Very good very good and tell us um, how was how was student life in Cavan Institute? Oh, I loved it. Uh, in Cavan Institute, it was great. Like Jake was saying, we, we had small groups of, you know, classes. So you got to know everyone in your class and we had a great class group, but just I've made friends for life there. I'm still friends with the people that I went to, to college with in Cavan. It was great. And, you know, there's a different atmosphere in Cavan Institute that's not there in bigger colleges. You know, you have a great relationship with your tutors. You know, they they become your friends by the time you're, you're finished, you know, rather than, you know, a, you know, lecturers in other colleges you mightn't have that sort of relationship with and you know um it it was just a nice atmosphere everyone got on great when you walk into the college it was it was just like a really warm atmosphere you know that you don't get in in, in bigger colleges which which was really nice and it, w it was great to have your peers and you're really close you, you never you know felt like alone you could chat to people and you'd listen to each other's recordings and stuff like that so it, it was a really nice class group that i had and um, it helps with the smaller sizes of the classes because you might only have 10 people in a group, whereas in university level or uh, institute technology, it could be 30 people in your class and, you know, you mightn't get to know them as well. Very good. Very good. All oh, sounds great. I, I, want to, I want to do the course. <laughs> uh, so uh, any words of wisdom for people who are doing the course now or who might be doing it in the future? Just experiment. You know, the... The audio world there's so much in it there's you know there's sound design for film there's foley recording for film there's you know music composition there's you know sort of a sound art there's you know the standard recording route there's mixing there's mastering you, there's so many jobs available in the industry and the great thing about the course in cabin institute is that it gives you a taster of everything so that you know really opens up your mind you you, you might think oh there's just you know, recording jobs in a studio, but there's not, there's just a whole world there ready for you to discover. So just dive in and get as much experience as you can. And, you know, you'll never know what you'll find that you love and that will be your, your career for life. So that's, you know, try everything in, in the course and, you know, dive in and make the most of your time in the studio as well. And, you know, get playing with all the gear. There's no other course that you'd be able to spend a day recording music, which is great, practice, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks for being for that. Okay, so now we have our present students here in Dylan and Vinicius. So we have a few questions for these guys. Right, Kira, over to you. So Dylan, you are studying second year at the minute in the music and sound production course. So can you tell us, first of all, why did you choose to study in Calvin Institute? Well, um, I was a bit of a, a latecomer to college when I left uh, secondary school. I kind of went straight into work for a couple of years because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't get what I wanted from the leaving cert and stuff. And music has always been like a kind of a massive passion for myself. And I know a couple of my friends from secondary school, they went to Cavan Institute and they, they couldn't recommend it highly enough. So I, I said I'd give it a shot and I uh, I decided to jump into what I was passionate about, which which was music, and well, it ended up being music production in, in the end. So I decided to jump after hearing from my friends what it was like. Brilliant! Thanks for that. It is a really good tip, actually, to just go for it sometimes, and um, with a course area that you're you really have an interest in and a passion for. So I, it definitely sounds like you made a good decision there. So what have you enjoyed most about the course so far? I I think just getting that that studio time getting that the ability to use the equipment and work with uh, yourselves like D Dara the amount of experience that Dara has in working in the, in the industry and um, it, it's just amazing to be able to actually use the equipment that Calvin Institute has um, and even the, the class time as well especially working with, with people that you're good friends with which 
seems to happen almost immediately when you meet the class groups in in Calvin Institute. It's such a, a tight knit family. So being able to use the equipment w with your friends and have fun and like learn massive, massively helpful skills at the same time is, is great. OK, so what's next for you then, Dylan? What do you see yourself doing after this course? Um, at the moment, I've signed up to jump into second year in DKIT in Dundalk. So um, I hope to obviously work at my results this year and be able to jump into second year. Um, I've also applied for first year through the CAO as kind of a backup. Um, but yeah, I hope to go straight into Dundalk and into continue on to the BA course that uh, Laura was mentioning earlier. Brilliant. Thanks a million, Dylan. Lovely to hear that you're enjoying the course so much and we really wish you all the best for your next steps in going to DKIT. I'm really interested to hear that you've taken that route that Jake and Laura outlined for us as well um, and that you've got the option of applying for advanced entry, which is fantastic. Yeah. So thank you so much, Dylan, for giving us your insights. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, good stuff. OK, so so Dylan, you're a second year, so we're moving on to Vinicius now, who's in first year. So uh, Vinicius, how is the course going for you? Well, um, the course is actually being really good for me, especially because I'm not a uh, native in Ireland. I'm from Brazil and all the tutors, the teachers, they all of you, you are all you pay really close attention to me. You all are very, you have a amazing, an amazing patience that really impressed me. And well, the course is above my expectations. There's nothing bad that I can say about the course. I simply love it and I love everything that I study. I love everything. I find everything interesting and I really, I really want to keep going with this course, go to the second year and work as a producer. Yeah, actually, there's nothing bad about the course. Not for me, not for me. Very good, very good. And have you a plan on where you're going to go after the course yet? Have you thought that far ahead? Well, uh, sometimes I, I, I think myself, I talk to my parents, I don't know if I'm going to study anything. I, don't, I think I'm really going to try and open something, some kind of business for me, some studio or something. Because my, 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 my dream since when I was a kid was to be a famous musician, a singer and compose yeah. songs. But then uh, mom came to me and she said, uh, you gotta have to uh, like a, a, a normal dream, something that's not that hard to find, to, to go. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, OK, so I'm going to be a producer. And she's like, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. And I went to Calvin Institute. And yeah, that's pretty much what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to be a producer because Calvin Institute is just leading me into this path. Because in Brazil, I, I figure it now because in Brazil, I, I was never going to have this opportunity that Calvin Institute is giving to me. And that, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Very good. So that's actually quite interesting because everyone else was talking about progression on to higher level education and stuff like that. But the course actually gears itself towards entry into the industry as well, straight from Cavan Institute. And that's that's a, that's good to hear that that's your plan. Yeah, yeah, the course yeah. is amazing. You feel, yeah. The course, you feel the course is is preparing you for that? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Um, when I left uh, uh, Sotkars College in, in Bali James Duff, I, I wasn't really good at music, in music theory, for example, and I had no idea of producing microphones and the mixing console and never like nothing. And Calvin Institute is like, after one day that I went to, after the first class I had, I already felt like I was a producer because that's the way you feel like when you when you go to the Calvin Institute. Uh, yeah, it prepares, uh, it, it is preparing me really good, yeah. Very good, very good. And one last question for you, Vinicius, is just in, in the times we find ourselves with the pandemic and all this kind of stuff. So this is for students who might be thinking to, that they're going to join the course next year. How are you finding the whole blended learning and college through the whole blended learning aspect? OK, so, well, the Calvin Institute is, uh, as I said, really pays attention to its students. And whenever I have a question, I mail the teachers and they get they answer me back like really quickly. And that that, that makes me feel comfortable with the online learning. And I think it, it varies into uh, in different students. If the student is not very focused, then online learning would be not very interesting. But as I learned in Calvin Institute and in Ireland when I moved here, you have to hard work. You, you have to work hard. You have to pay attention. You have to be focused. And well, Calvin Institute is just as I learned everything in Calvin Institute, even in the online learning, everything is is interesting. And it, even the online learning is interesting. And 
the teachers also uh, you gave me the the accession to access to Pro Tools, for example, because I don't have Pro Tools, so you gave me the access to it, and I can practice at home. And well, Kawa Institute is just amazing because, uh, amazingly, because it pays attention to the students. They really they have a good, good patience. Yeah, really good patience. Okay. Very good, very good. That's great. It's good. To, it's good to hear that. Yeah. Very good. Right, Kira. Thanks, Eric. So thank you so much to Jake, Laura, Dylan and Vinicius for joining us today. We really hope that everyone watching it found it as informative as we did. And um, if you'd like to apply for this course or any other course in Cavan Institute, or you would just like a little bit more information, please visit our website on www.cavaninstitute.ie. If you go over there, you'll also get some details on how to get in contact with us if you'd like to chat to one of the tutors or even get some more detailed questions answered for you. We really hope you enjoyed our conversation today and we look forward to seeing you all in September. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.